Hello guys, I am Yash Patel and welcome back to my channel Django World. So in last video we have created class based view for logout only. So in today's video we are going to create class based view for this profile, right? So first of all let me run the server. I will just delete this and create new terminal to create to activate my environment automatically. Now I will just write python manage.py run server. And it will start my server and I will go on the link. I will log in myself first. So admin. And I will go to my profile page. So here we are accessing this class based view. So I will just comment this. I will create new class. And I will pass this profile. Okay, and then I will say generics dot view because we want to get method. So here I will first define my model. So model equals to or equals to block. Then I will say template name equals to this path. then i will give div i will define get method by the way so get then i will say self comma request and the variable which we are passing here so i'll just copy this in uh, urls okay user underscore name because if you remember we are passing user underscore here also so i just copy and paste that now all these things is going to remain same i will just copy and paste that and i will uncomment this okay cool now here we are having indentation error so i will just indent that all things are good now i will just remove this uh, path from the render function so I will remove that and I will write self dot template name okay all things are good I will go to urls.py I hope we are getting error yes we are getting the error so here I will just write s underscore view save it come over here refresh okay as you can see we are not getting any error our profile page is working all good now if you remember after we were filling form we were passing the success messages and error messages right this success message and error message so after creating this class based view we are not passing those message anymore so in next lecture we are going to see that how we can pass the message after creating class based view okay so this is it for today's video guys if you like my video please like share and subscribe to my channel and if you have any doubt please comment down below and i have pasted the link of the github repo of this code in uh, description box okay thank you Thank you.